we've just decided that we need to bring some more attention to it in Blount County. As the holiday season approaches, one parent who lost his daughter to an overdose is trying to help others. For the first time, Blunt County has a memorial tree for families to remember their loved ones and raise awareness about the overdose epidemic. 10 News reporter Grace King spoke with them and local leaders about what the region's next steps could be. Grace. Well, Robin, as Tim tries to raise awareness in Blunt County, Knox County released new data this morning, linking more than half of the fatal overdoses in 2018 to prior arrests. That data is something Tim and the DA want to use to save lives. This is an ornament that my mother made for Brooke. For Tim Webb, the holidays can be tough. He lost his daughter to an overdose in 2018. May 23rd, 2018. This year, he started a memorial tree in Blunt County to remember his daughter and all the other lives taken too soon. All I want to do is make a difference. In 2018, at least 16 people died from an overdose in Blunt County. Over in Knox, there were almost 300 overdose deaths. We are seeing a larger and larger percentage of people uh, that are dying in our community are coming into contact with the criminal justice system. That's part of the findings released in a new report from the district attorney's office. In 2018, over half, 54% of the individuals that died um, had been in contact with the criminal justice system in the five years prior to their death. Tim Webb saw that happen with his own daughter. My daughter became a, a shoplifter and she was arrested for that. And it's, it's all to feed the drugs, all to feed their addiction. District Attorney Sharm Allen sees that as an opportunity for intervention. We in the criminal justice system are an intercept point for overdose deaths in our community. An intercept point that could literally save lives. If the police department had some way of realizing and understanding and working towards, let's get these people help. I think that's what would make a big difference. And General Allen told me they're working on innovative intervention programs and grants applications, rather. This data and the programs they come up with could be used across the region. Robin? All right. Grace, thank you. And if you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, we do have resources right now at WBIR.com. Just go to the menu at the top of the screen, click the Features tab, scroll down, and choose OD Epidemic.